Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a huge torrid dress haul. So keep watching to see what dresses I tried. On my last tour video, I asked you guys if you'd like to see an exclusive just dress video because they had so many adorable dresses that I wanted to show you. And a lot of you were like, heck yes. So here we are. Let's jump right into the first dress. This one I really loved. That dusty purple is just like probably one of my new favorite colors. It's so beautiful, but I actually feel like it looks good on me. So that's obviously a bonus too. And I'm always down for an off the shoulder moment. It had the perfect amount of flow and it had a little bit of a bell sleeve, which I did think was really cool. It made it kind of unique and different. So I definitely appreciated that as well. Flowers. I'm a huge floral sucker, so obviously I really like this. A nice length actually too because it was like right above the knee. Size 4. I feel like it fit true to size. So that was a winner. <laughs> the next dress, I feel like an actual 1940s picnic. It is so beautiful. I love all the buttons. I'm kind of digging the buttons down the center of tops and dresses. If you guys saw my Rue 21 haul, you saw that. And then I saw this dress and I was like, oh wow, I love it. I didn't realize when I actually picked it out originally just shopping that it had pockets. So when I tried it on and I saw it had pockets, I was like, okay, this is amazing. Because honestly, who doesn't love a pocket? And these pockets are so well hidden, you wouldn't even know they're there because of all the pleats. I love that too, so if you don't want to use them, you don't even really know they're there. But I love the cut of, around the bust as well. I think that looks so good, and to me, it just kind of gives the vintage vibe, which I think a cute little pinup curl and like big waves. Some red lipstick, please. Very jaunty in this one. I I just think with a jean jacket over as well would be so cute it was a really great length that you could actually even wear it right now when it's colder and that dress was in a 4x as well so the next dress was another dusty purple as you can tell i'm obsessed and torrid is obsessed as well because they have so many dusty purple things that between the cardigans and the shirts and the sweaters and i mean everything dusty purple heaven just goes to show you how sometimes sizing is a little bit weird just from style to style and also fabrics can really change what size you might want in a certain item and I loved the cut and everything but if you're someone who doesn't want it as body hugging you might want to size up in this particular dress but I love it it is so beautiful and I feel like you can do a lot with it you could put a belt to give it a little fun different edge and of course a million different necklaces to kind of make it pop out and this dress is such a just plain canvas that you can make it more dressy you can dress it down so obviously dresses like that are always my personal favorite um, the next one I decided to try was this gray blue background which I really love that color I'm a fan of gray and I have loved blue more recently so the gray blue was something I really enjoyed the color palette they chose with this dress was really beautiful and unique and the dress itself fits so good it was a size 4 I love that it was a long sleeve and like the puffer sleeve and it did have a little bit of gathering under the bust but it wasn't over exaggerating and it fit tight not tight where it was uncomfortable but it was a fitted top here the perfect amount of flow in the body another great dress in my opinion this one is like giving me all the spring vibes like i'm ready these colors are beautiful i love yellow i love pink i mean i just love so many colors it's so hard for me to really just pick one or two because i've really opened my palette to more colors so i really do love the dress it's the wrap style dress and then it has the ruffles at the bottom which i think is cute kind of gives it a little flirty and fun feel to the dress it fit really nice in the arms it was like a perfect fit it wasn't too tight too loose and also in the bust it was great if you're someone who doesn't like things as low cut obviously camis are your best friend pop a cami underneath it and you have that coverage and modesty that you might want or maybe in your workplace you can't have that much of a boobage moment so you need to kind of cover it <laughs> That's something so simple to do though. And I would, personally, I would never not buy a dress just for that reason because that's such a quick fix. This dress, oh my goodness. It's perfect for an event I have coming up where we're wanting to wear purple. And so when I saw this dress, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to try it. It was a size four and it was on the clearance rack actually. Also, I don't think I already mentioned everything I could find online. I will link down below as well 
definitely doesn't fit in this dress. It definitely is a little more on the risque side, but it's gonna be like a night event. So I feel like this is very appropriate for the event that I'm going for. I love the way that it fit me. I feel like the bell sleeves were really fun because I tried a lot of bell sleeves the past few months. And would you believe it or not, I actually haven't kept a single one. So this is actually my first bell sleeve item. And I couldn't be more excited for it to be this dress because this dress is just so pretty. It's a luxe feeling. It's it's just really a stunning dress and I really do like purple on me as well. I am so excited to wear this. Now this dress screams Valentine's Day. If you're someone who celebrates Valentine's Day or just is a lover of all things red and pink, this is your dress. It is beautiful. It fits amazing. The colors are so cute and so warm and rich and inviting. I always love a wrap style dress. I think they look really good on and I always feel very comfortable and confident when I'm in one of those dresses. I love that it's actually a quarter length sleeve since it is still colder out. It really would be perfect for Valentine's Day or just any day. And I love that it hit me like right at the knee. This was in a size three. I love that dress. This next dress, I really, it caught my eye because I like the tear ruffles. I think that's a really fun look. I think it looks good on me a lot of the time, so do so. I figured why not try it out. I absolutely love the fit of the dress. I think it looks really good on. And I thought I liked the pattern better when I was looking at it. But when I had it on, the pattern is cute, but I wish it was a little bit bigger because I feel like it almost looked a little matronly, to be honest. That is my own personal opinion. I felt kind of matronly with the pattern. Like I said, if it was maybe a bolder, bigger pattern, it would have felt a little bit more fun and fresh. I don't know. That was a little bit of a miss for me, but I love the fit of this dress. Next dress I tried on, I think is so, so pretty. It's white and then it has gold polka dots throughout the entire dress. Gorgeous flutter sleeves, beautiful outlined and colored filled in with like purple flowers. It's such a beautiful dress for, I could picture more dressy event or casual because to me the gold metallic in it, it just gives it so much fun detail. I'm obsessed with this dress. Looks maybe a little bit wonky at the top here because the way that they had like the sensor and the tag, your arm couldn't quite get through the one layer. So ignore the fact that it's a little wonky because it still fit really, really nicely. And this was in a size four. I know a lot of us kind of are told like to stay away from white. And with this dress being predominantly white, I still feel like it looked really good and felt really beautiful and just kind of like a little angel. Really a beautiful dress. Last dress that I tried on, I am obsessed. It's so beautiful. I got this size in a three, and I love the fit of the three actually. And it had a cute little bow right here in the front, which I think kind of gave it like a corset look without actually having a belt or corset. So that was nice because I definitely love that look. How it fit in the shoulders and the sleeves were really nice. And it was a perfect like A line where it was flowy, but again, not too flowy. I don't like when it's too flowy. A black dress, you could never go wrong with it, right? Because it's just a great staple. A dress like this could go for literally any occasion. All depends on how you accessorize and what shoes you wear. I already have a little too many <laughs> staple black dresses. This would be in my closet because it fits so good. It was literally the perfect length. That is everything from my tour dress haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's any other places you'd like to see me do a just dress haul. So someone did request for me to do a wedding dress haul. If that's something you guys would like to see, leave in the comments below. Leave in the comments below whatever your favorite dress was. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the video. And want to see more, hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time that I post a video. And remember to just be you. Bye guys! Hum, 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 hum. Wah, hee, ah, hee, ah. Felt like Marilyn Monroe herself looking like a picnic. And if you didn't guess the song from my last video, the DN Co box, the song is Colby Calais, Taylor Made. If you haven't heard it, you should go listen to it. It is really cute. Ooh, that highlight though. <laughs> but I could totally picture this also at the park with your sweetie kins and your dog. So. And yes, I said sweetie kittens. That's what I call Jeff and others in my life. Oh, they're so lucky. If you happen to make it this far in the video, you are going to be one of the first to know that I am doing a chic soul 
$50 gift card giveaway on my Instagram. So if you aren't already following me on there, definitely go follow me now. Justine K88. The link will be in the description box below. Um, just for you amazing people who stay all the way to the end, I'm super curious to know, what is your current favorite song?